Hello, my name is Scott Smith from Cobra Firing Systems and the purpose of this video is to give you a demonstration of a new feature that's coming out in our new pre-order May release and the feature has been something requested by a number of individuals and that is the ability to execute a subsequence. So today the system has the ability for you to run a complete sequence with a fixed time delay between queues 1 and 18. While that's great and it works well a lot of companies have asked for the ability to execute a sequence from say Q1 to 6 or say from Q13 to 18 and the reason for that is they don't want to use up all of the queues on a specific module and leave those queues to execute uh, other queues um, so that you can make full use of the actual queues within the system. So to demonstrate that first what I wanted to do is just kind of show you how it works specifically on the remote and then I've also got a setup here that's going to allow me to fire off some just some consumer igniter clips and, and visco fuse to further demonstrate how it works. Now you'll notice right out of the gate that I'm actually in fire mode and just to be safe I'm actually on channel 10. Both of these modules are set to channel 1 and channel 2 so I'm not going to interfere and fire anything here yet. And what I want to show you is how the functionality has actually changed. Previously what you would do is from this section here you can control your actual timing. Okay, So this is for example 0.2 seconds, 1 second. You can take this up as really as high as you want. And we'll just leave it at 0.2 seconds for now. And before you would just press the sequence button and that would automatically execute the sequence. Now how it works is you can press the sequence button then it's going to ask you for the starting and the ending queue. So for example, my starting queue would be 1, my ending queue is 6, and then when you're ready to fire that sequence, just press the sequence button again. Now you can repeat that process. Say for example, I want to go from sequence of say 7 all the way to 18 and execute that. The system's going to execute it for you and it works in both directions. So I could actually execute a sequence from 6 back down to 1 and that's going to go in the reverse direction. What's also nice is you can also sequence between channels. So if I went say from sequence 1 to 12 and then press and held the sequence button, what you're going to see here is that it's going to continue that sequence, it's going to continually auto increment that channel so that you can automatically execute this sequence across multiple channels which can create some pretty cool effects. Okay, so now that I've explained that feature, let's go back into actually doing a demonstration of it in action. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change all my systems back into a testing mode. I'm going to move myself back down to channel 1 here. And just going to confirm my continuity readouts are good. You'll see here that I've got 18 queues fully wired on this module right here. You'll see the first six are on this block right here and then the remaining seven through eighteen the remaining twelve are on this block now this module this module is wired exactly the same way if I switch to channel two you see I also have everything with good continuity and this block is from one to six and this is from seven to eighteen so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna switch myself into fire mode you'll see that everything is now armed and ready to go and what I want to do is I'm going to go to channel 1 and I'm just going to simply execute a sequence against this block right here. So I'm just going to do sequence 1 all the way to 6 and I'm just going to slide back here slightly and I'm just going to go ahead and execute that. Okay, and that went ahead and executed that sequence across all the different queues. Now if I wanted to go to say channel 2 and I want to execute that same sequence on this block I can do so. So I'll just go sequence 1 through 6 and you'll see here that everything went. And now for the third effect what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sequence from Q7 through 18 and then move on to the next module from 7 to 18. Basically sequencing across channels. So to do that I'm going to go back to channel 1 go from sequence 7 to 18 and now I'm just going to hold this button down through this sequence and it's just going to continue right on to the next.
Great. So I hope you've enjoyed that demonstration, and thank you very much.